Cancel wants to win this championship. This is his dream. Andrew Cancel has always dreamed of wearing that belt around this waist, and he is in there tonight against one of his heroes in Bernard Hopkins. Always hovering in and around the top ten. He has had a couple of losses to stylish fighters in Robert Allen and, and Winky Wright in the last year and a half, but now he's thrust in a world championship fight, and he feels that Bernard Hopkins is more of the style that he would rather face, two bangers going in against one another. You know, he's kept his eye on Bernard Hopkins for a long time. He's dreamed of being in the ring with Bernard Hopkins. He has dreamed of this opportunity, and what he sees in Bernard Hopkins is he sees a fighter who, yes, he is a proven warrior. Yes, he's an outstanding fighter, but he's a fighter also who's tired. How many times can Bernard Bernard Hopkins continue to get up for these fights. Well, Bernard Hopkins has an incredible work ethic. Every time he is in the ring, he wants to show the fans what he is all about. He wants people leaving the ring and saying, did you see that Bernard Hopkins last night? He has successfully defended his middleweight crown on five occasions, all by knockout. And uh, he looks at each fight as he should be. look. It's a world championship fight. Oh, he has tremendous pride in what he is doing in the ring. This is what a world champion should be. This man brings the confidence of a world championship in the fight, in, into a fight with him. He brings the concentration. He is the executioner. He executes his fight plan. He executes his style. And I enjoy watching Bernard Hopkins let's fight. Let's execute our fight plan here now by looking at the Castrol tail of the tape. This for the IBF middleweight championship and both fighters coming in at the middleweight limit at 160 pounds. Hopkins has the height advantage and an ever so slight reach advantage. The IBF championship rules. Standing eight count is not in effect. Three knockdown rule is not in effect. You cannot be saved by the bell and the scoring on the 10 point must scoring system. Now here's the champ and the blackboard. Champ. Brought to you by Meineke Discount Muffler. This week's boxing blackboard. Middleweight world champion Bernard Hopkins. Strengths with good speed and power. He has excellent skills. He has an exciting style with constant pressure. Bernard's weaknesses, so tight he is mechanical in the ring and trying so hard it's difficult to adapt. Will he be able to change to face Andrew Council? His strengths, aggression with good power and a good chin. Andrew's weaknesses, he lacks speed. And in long fights, he grows lethargic. Will he be able to remain focused and win this title tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, from the Showplace Arena, America presents and the undisputed, undefeated king of beers, Budweiser, proudly present to you our featured bout, which means it's fight time in Maryland. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds and it is for the IBF middleweight championship of the world. It is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation. In attendance is the president, Robert W. Lee Sr. and the supervisor, Doug Beavers. Along with the Maryland State Athletic Commission, Chairman Carl N. Milligan Jr. and the executive director, Patrick Pinella. The secretary of the Department of Labor, Licensing and Regulation is Eugene A. Conti Jr. and the matchmaker is Tom Brown. The timekeepers are Don Risher and Tommy Canaris counting for the knockdowns. The physicians at ringside are Dr. Stephen Menekin, Dr. Douglas Frankel, and Dr. Frank Garmin. The three judges assigned scoring on a 10-point must system are Bill Holmes of Cape St. Clair, Maryland, Paul Artiste of Washington, D.C., and Ernest Green of Chesapeake, Virginia. When the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action will be Kenny Chevalier. Introducing to you first, the challenger fighting out of the red corner. Tonight, he's wearing the blue trunks with black and silver and weighed in at 160 pounds. Hailing from Lanham, Maryland, he has a professional record of 27 wins, five losses, three draws, with 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Andrew Council. His opponent fighting directly across from him out of the blue corner. He's wearing the black trunks with gold trim and also weighed in at 160 pounds. Coming to us from the great fighting city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, he has a professional record of 32 wins, two losses, one draw, with 25 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the current. 
current IBF middleweight champion of the world, Bernard, the middleweight king executioner, Hopkins. Once again, your referee in charge, Kenny Chevalier, now to give instructions. Look here, giving you instructions in the corners. Again, I want a clean break. You watch them low blows. I don't want that head being used as a weapon. This is for the IBF championship of the world. Make no mistake about it. Obey my command. Let's touch gloves. Let's do it. And you say, how does Bernard Hopkins motivate himself? You heard it moments ago. He says he's coming into the backyard and fighting the champion. Andrew Council, Bernard Hopkins, in his mind, looking to take a belt away and he is well motivated because if nothing else he knows what a loss would do to his earning capabilities round number one of a scheduled 12 round fight over the horizon if Hopkins wins this and succeeds in defending his title for the sixth time there's a fight with former world champion Simon Brown who is in the audience here in his hometown area the DC area Hopkins taking a look at Andrew Council from afar. Hopkins, who prefers to box and punch, utilizing his boxing ability to set up his swift knockout power. He has KO 12 of his last 14 victims, while Council's last eight wins have come by knockout. Look at these little feints from Council. Just try to faint Hopkins out of position. Bernard. Though wants to see what he has in front of him. He knows Council is like a baby Ken Norton in there. He's not over talented, but he's a tough guy. He comes at you. He's a, a fighter that can give you a lot of problems. He has a, an amazing respect for him, even though they have a great dislike for one another. Well, look at the muscles in Andrew Council's back. When you got muscles in your back, that means you're you're working. <laughs> I guess his muscles are back. Council uh, going in talking about how, how much he thinks that Hopkins also a dirty fighter who hits low, hits and clinches, knows where the ref is. If the ref's on one side and uh, he's being held, will hit on the other side. And very uh, early, Council with a couple of words for the referee, Kenny Chevalier, who's keeping his distance and letting these two fighters go to work. And that's what they do best. These are two middleweights who do go to work and mean business in the ring and right now a tentativeness on the part of Andrew Council here in the first round is Bernard Hopkins who is taking the lead yeah, Council normally a real aggressive fighter he says in the ring I'm a boxer puncher trying to bring in more of the boxing ability his best punch is the left hook Hopkins says in the ring, I am a boxer puncher also. I don't throw unnecessary punches. And he hasn't yet. He's landed every shot that he's stuck out there. His best punch, Hopkins, says is the right cross. The crowd explodes from the punch from Council. It is a pro-Council crowd. Council the one from here in Maryland. Going to the body is Bernard Hopkins. Truly one of the top champions in the world today, reigning as the IBF middleweight king. Look out, baby. Everything is cool, everything is cool. I want a little more jab, that's all I want. A little more jab and I'm cool. Give me a spit bucket, please. Spit bucket. Yeah, just give me a little more jab, all right? That's all I want. Don't worry about getting access, so I give him one shot. Jab and continue to jab. What the hit? What the hit? All right, you got me? All right. Stick with that jab. Stay with your jab, okay? Not one punch, two or three. Three to four. Best of it. Got it. All right, son. Everything's cool. You're the boss. You're the boss. Don't try to give it one shot, okay? No movement drive. Jab to the stomach. Jab to the head. Slam that right hand and pull around Robin Hook, okay? Suck it in deep. Suck it in. We okay. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on.
Round number two, the IBF middleweight championship. Bernard Hopkins, the champ in the black trunks, the challenger, Andrew Council in the blue. And Council in front of his hometown crowd as the challenger. Very tight in that first round. Hopkins. Uh, That's something that a hometown crowd can do to you. Uh, make you tight. You want to perform for that hometown fight. You fight for their approbation. You want them on your side. And a lot of times they can get you out of your fight plan. You see your family and friends sitting out at ringside. Council, but, uh, yeah, yeah, he's a very aggressive yeah. fighter, but very defensive here in the early going. And he's doing a good job in the early going of remaining focused and remaining concentrated in this fight. He knows he has plenty of time. In fact, between rounds, both corners telling their fighters, use the jab. Jab from the outside. Here is Bernard Hopkins putting on some pressure. Moving in, a little tying up from Council. After the break. And the referee getting very aggressive now with these two. Strong middleweights. Says, when I break, you break. In Chevalier. Well, you're supposed to take a step back when the referee yells break. And again, trying to get in. Chevalier, not one of the bigger referees, but uh, certainly a tough character in there. But uh, these two fighters are so focused on one another. There is incredible anger and steam. And once again, Chevalier trying to squeeze his way into the picture. There's so much anger that both of them are fueled to the inside where they just tie on to one another. They have to leave a little bit of distance. Good right hand from Hopkins. He scores first. These two fighters have completely turned out everything around them, including the crowd, including the referees. Oh, oh. Council able to strike with that left, but for the most part, it has been the champion, Bernard Hopkins. They now move back into the center of the ring. A little more respect from one another. Fans are already standing in and around ringside. This thing starting to heat up in a hurry here in round number two. Referee has been very busy. Combination by Bernard Hopkins. Just solid in there. Going to the body. Really scoring points to the body. Some of the best oh. shots have been handed yeah. out by uh, Kenny Chevalier. Very aggressive himself in there. Former boxer, Kenny Chevalier. Yeah, not afraid to take control. Tough cookie, or at least try to. Come on, I'm gonna take a point. Settle down, son. Settle down, okay? Settle down. Settle down. On to the box, on to the jab, okay? Everything goes with my jab. Go work. Hey, bring it up. One more, and I'm gonna take a point. Five. One more. Well, we almost get to the stomach and fall with the right hand to the knee. Fall. Suck it in deep. Suck it in. You're hurt. You're hurting tight. Come on, man. Let me get me your hand. Come on, man. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep the thing. Keep it going. This is where the show is tonight. Upper Marlboro, Maryland, outside of D.C., and this is the show. The IBF Middleweight Championship. The champ in the black trunks, Bernard Hopkins, who's won 32 fights against two defeats, 25 knockouts. And the challenger is Andrew Council, who is 27, 5, and 3 with 19 KOs, including his last eight wins, all by knockout. At the end of that the second round, a warning given to Council one more time. And point will be taken away these two fighters getting inside doing a little holding and the referee trying to get control very early on yeah and the warning was given to counsel uh, I think that Hopkins is just as guilty as counsel let's see how he 
section out counsel for that. Both fighters are, are extremely aggressive and angry with one another. But what's happening here is Hopkins is landing the combinations. Council just trying to land that one punch. Remember the left hook that he landed in the, in the last round? One shot. What Council must do is put combinations together, start, start scoring in bunches. He's allowing for Hopkins to outscore him. Good right hand from Hopkins. And a good combination from Hopkins again. Hopkins has been taught to punch in bunches. Oh, both of them trade good left hooks. Council running into the jab. Hopkins told in the corner just to continue the jab. And yeah, that's part of that ring generalship. Look at him. Look at Hopkins. Look at the confidence he exudes. Look at the timing on his punches. Look at the ring generalship. There's a straight right hand from Hopkins. A little frown on the face of Council. Council is confused. Worried. Look at the left hand of Council down by his waist. Hopkins lost in his pro debut back in 1988, fighting at 177 pounds, then took 18 months off to get down to the middleweight or super middleweight division, somewhere in the 160s, trying to carve out where his career would be. Then he streaked to 22 straight wins, 16 by knockout until he ran into Roy Jones and lost a 12 rounder in a fight that uh, Hopkins now said had just fought the wrong fight, tried to fight his fight and counterpunch. It should have just been the Philadelphia Warrior, which he's showing here tonight. Yeah, too much speed from Roy Jones. He'd love to have a rematch. He said, I'll do it at 168 or 170. Of course, they did it at 160 before. And he is. Oh. Council calls off. Best shots by Council, but Hopkins returns. Give me another one. Give me another one. Suck it in deep, Andrew. I lost the grease. I need more grease. Okay, now be smart with him. Don't go to the exchanger. Be smart. Suck it in. Suck it in. I got ice in there. Now watch him. Now watch him, okay? Watch him. Suck it in. Suck it in. Jab it right. Get the straight right hand. Back with the right hand. Suck it in deep. Okay, this is it. Watch him, Andrew. Watch him. Come on. Come on. Some of the action at the end of that third round, and look how both fighters really pulling it on. And it looked as though Council had backed Bernard to the ropes and let him have it. Good exchange at the end of that third round from Andrew Council, something that he needs more of. He needs more aggressive, effective aggressiveness. Get in there, score, and then move to the side. Don't go straight back against a fighter like Bernard Hopkins. This is uh, becoming a hotly contested fight. Definite world championship caliber and atmosphere. The middleweight champion of the IBF, Bernard Hopkins, there in the black trunks, the executioner. He says now the context of executioner means that he executes his ability and he executes his fight plan. He has been doing that so far in the first four rounds. And doing that here in the fourth between rounds, Bowie Fisher in his corner told Bernard, I want you to box. He's coming right at you because of the barrage of punches that Andrew scored well with at the end of that third round. Now they're changing just a bit from Hopkins. More of the versatility of Bernard. He says, I am a good boxer. I just haven't had the opportunity to show people that. Council also going in, knowing it was very important to him to get through the first three rounds. Not, a, not that he's a fighter who's ever been taken out in a fight, but he says that Bernard Hopkins comes out the first three hey, rounds like here. a madman. He tries to intimidate on, you. Kidney shots. Come on. And then if you get a pass the third round, 
then you know that this one's going to settle in for a longer fight. Hey, hey, that's twice. That's Although twice. Bernard Hopkins says people don't give him credit for having long distance grinding out power. He thinks that he's as strong in the later rounds as he is in the first few. So a difference of opinion. Oh, low blows. Low blows from Andrew Council. Warning given by the referee. Inside the last minute of round number four. Andrew Council comes into this undaunted, unintimidated. He says, you know what? Bernard Hopkins can be knocked down too. And there was a shot to knock him down that missed from Andrew Council. Hopkins is how slick. Does, the how, does he know, how does he know that? <laughs> Who? How does he know and, Andrew Council knows that Bernard Hopkins could be knocked down? Let me tell you, they can all be knocked down. Well, I know. <laughs> they can all be knocked down. You can hit the right punch uh, at the right time. We're still waiting. Back. We're still waiting for Bernard Hopkins to get knocked down. Final seconds of round number four. Ooh. Them dance and you don't punch. You gotta punch back at him. Yeah. Stop letting, stop letting him jab and you don't jab back. You got to work this man, man. He's smart enough to know he can't beat you. He's smart enough to know he gotta dance on you, he gotta move on you. You gotta jab back. Don't wait so long. Ride his punches. Now he's throwing jabs. Ride it. Slip it with left uppercut. Jab over top, right hand over top his jab. Don't move, don't move. He throws hook, catches hook, you catch his hook. Come back with your hook. Suck it in deep, suck it in deep, suck it in while we throw, suck it in. Drew, you gotta take it, baby. Come on, man. Suck it in. I guess you could say it's standing room only because ever since this main event began, everybody, especially around ringside, have been standing. You can see the Andrew Council crowd. He's fighting in his home area. Creeping closer and closer to ringside. This could be a dangerous situation before this uh, night is out. He certainly has his fans into it and intense in support of the challenger. Andrew Council in the blue trunks comes in with a record of 27, 5, and 3. He is finally getting his world title shot. He has uh, stepped up. He has beaten Buddy McGirt, knocked him down twice, stopped him in the ninth round. But then against Winky Wright and Robert Allen, it's uh, two slick fighters, has been outboxed, but still hanging around the top 10 to get this shot against Bernard Hopkins. Hopkins would love to unify the middleweight division. He's already wiped out the number one and two contenders. There aren't one at number one or two in the IBF. Julio Cesar Green, the WBA champ. Keith, Keith Holmes, the WBC champion. Lonnie Bradley, the WBO champion. There it is. There it is. Well, he touched the canvas, but uh, certainly not a knockdown. He went down. He went down. Bernard Hopkins would love to unify these titles, as you say, but he says, I can't afford to have a bad day. I'm a professional. I must be perfect every time, time out. He says, at this level, too, everyone is dangerous. You heard him talk earlier. Uh, certainly one of his idols, Marvin Hagler. He says, because Hagler was always in tremendous shape and never ducked anyone, and Hopkins is uh, hoping that he could get fights with some of the other champions. But the, right now that has not happened for many reasons and many of them political. Hey, 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 hey. Hopkins says he's not going to fight a Keith Holmes who is uh, under the guidance of uh, Don King where Hopkins has to give away his promotional rights. So sometimes it is even more difficult to unify a division as you might imagine. So many things going on outside of the ring. Yeah. 30 seconds to go in that's, round five. That's the real fight. The politics outside the ring. He said he loved Marvin Hagler's tremendous shape. Bernard Hopkins does. 
every fight. He did everything to win. He fought everyone and did his job. And in that respect, uh, Hopkins also a throwback fighter. Sure. And uh, he works very hard at his profession. And loves boxing. All right, don't forget the jab. You're doing all right, son. You're doing all right. You're doing all right for me. Doing good for me. Stretch the legs out. Stretch the legs out. You're doing good for me. Water, water, water. All right. Nice pack, fellas. Doing good for me, baby. Doing good. Stay with that jab. We're home. Stay with the jab. We'll be all right. Feel good, baby. Feel good. All right. Like a box don't home. Go to, don't go to the alley. Don't go to the alley. Stay out in the center, baby. Keep your back outside, all right? Keep that back outside and you're home. You're rich. Okay, sir? Yeah, he cut right. too. And I can't get to it to the next round, okay? You got to keep him off your head. Keep him off, okay? Come on, let's go. Jam down. USA, Tuesday night fights. Go. USA, yo, USA, USA, Tuesday night fights. We're in the Showplace Arena outside of Washington, D.C., and the fans have come to see the IBF middleweight championship, see if uh, their hometown hero, Andrew Council, can take that belt away from the champion, Bernard Hopkins, who comes from Philadelphia to Washington. In uh, what could be developing, the middleweight brawl, six title defense for Hopkins. He's a perfect 5-0 in defenses, five knockouts, beating the likes. Of Glenn Johnson, 32 and 0. John David Jackson, the former world champion. Bo James, 25 and 0. Joe Lipsy, and in 24 seconds over Steve Frank, the quickest knockout in middleweight world title fight history. Those are his five defenses of this IBF crown. Hopkins said in the corner between rounds, he feels good just getting into this fight. Stay with his boxing. Try to carve up his opponent with boxing, punching, angles, and then click into the mode of the pressure and the body attack. And now the referee has asked the doctor to come into the ring to take a look at that cut that has been sliced open underneath the eyebrow of Andrew Council. The cut on the left side of Council's face, the blood. You can see it trickling down the side of the eye. It's not hampering the vision, so that's why they let it go on. Trickling down the outside orbital of that eye instead of dripping down in, in front of your pupil. That's when they would question whether to stop it. Well, Council knows now he's got to go to work. He's got to pick it up as you see him set for that right hand. Bernard Hopkins, who's been flashing the jab, maybe flashing it over now to that right eye. They wanted more boxing, more jabs from Bernard. There's a good right hand from Bernard just on the cut. When you see that cut open up, you really zero in oh, on that like that. Right hand. Oh. And Council wobbles back to the corner. Hopkins knows how to finish it. He has a minute to work with. Council is cut. He's bleeding. He's hurt. Trying to convince the referee it is okay. Council is. And Council now who has to open up his attack. May at the same time be leaving himself open to the champion. Yeah, the champion just cut, hitting that cut. See him? Just digging that cut. Look where the referee is, too, on the blind side. And they're going to take it over to the uh, neutral corner. Now, he, now Point is being taken away from Council. We suspect for holding. We'll find out as the round ends. David to jab, David to jab, David to jab. That's all I want. That's all I want. Everything comes off that jab, son. Take a nice deep breath for me. Breathe deep for me. Take a deep breath. Out of baby. I'm looking. I don't know. Combination, 
Andrew, you gotta move your head. Stay down low, look. Down low now. Get down low on the right side. For my neck. The seventh round begins. One point was taken away from Andrew Council. Unsportsmanlike conduct, says referee Kenny Chevalier. Says Council continue to hit after the break. So that was a complete zero of the round for Council. He gets caught, he gets wobbled, plus gets a point away for the unsportsmanlike conduct. Ooh. And that a low blow? No, says the referee, counting. No, he does say it's in a low blow. The count is going on on the sideline, but uh, the referee says it was a low blow, and I think that the Andrew Council can confirm that. Hopkins doesn't agree. You've got a point. But things not going the challenger's way. Point. Let's go. Not at all. A big turn in this fight, and it is just a matter of time. Now Hopkins gets a point taken away for that low blow and just that jab. Backing Andrew Council. Council right now feeling a little shaky in the legs. Crowd, his fans imploring him to turn it on. Six long rounds still to go for the challenger. And Bernard Hopkins is very fresh. Yeah, this is what, what champions do is they make a difficult fight easy. Bernard Hopkins making this fight look easy with Andrew Council. I think Andrew Council has been just a step behind Bernard every round, except the third round, which I gave to Council. And then he had that big flurry at the end of that third. But this is really the... A, a great fighter in Bernard Hopkins. Not exactly the one-dimensional uh, fighter that Andrew Council was talking about. Not at all, but he has been one-dimensional in the past that I've seen him. Not tonight, though. He is showing some boxing ability, some maneuverability over to a better strategic position. He's working the angles well. Hopkins is unmarked. He has been hit very few shots. Council, you see the blood streaming down from the left side of his face. Cut over that... Left eye. Bernard Hopkins says it's not just about winning, it's the way you win that counts. Always in there to win big. He wants people to come away from every one of his fights saying, man, that Bernard Hopkins is something else. Did you see that fight last night? Are you going to come away saying that? Ten seconds to go. I think I will. He is very disciplined in the ring. Consummate professional. He says champions are always ready. Don't worry about the outside. Don't worry about right here. Suck it in deep. Suck it in deep. You got to work now. You got to stay down low. You didn't do like I told you. Stay low on him. You know how to do that. Stay down low. Suck it in deep. He come, you don't come up. Jerk your right hand out. Put a right hand in the hook. Pull it out. Don't, don't move. Okay, don't move. Okay, baby, okay? You got to watch him now. Watch him. Bend down low. How come you ain't doing it? You know, like you're doing the gym. Look, now get down low. Where's my piece? Where's my piece? Rock got it right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Stay low. Bend low, okay? Bend low. Bend low to your right side. Bernard Hopkins, the champion, is ready for more. Looks across the ring at Andrew Council, who is able to survive that. Last round, after taking a pretty good beating in the previous round, but Council is still there. 
and standing in the scheduled 12 rounder. You know, you look at Bernard Hopkins, he's had five knockout defenses, willing to fight anybody, strong, a knockout artist, as you say, consummate pro, incredible work ethic, blue collar type of a fighter from the streets of Philadelphia. Why isn't this guy then considered in the superstar class? Why isn't he making the big money, the big fights, the man who has talked about? It? Yeah, he should be. The reason is he's an independent agent. He doesn't have a promoter, big powerful promoter to to get him the well, he, he did. Yeah, he did. Which Lewis no longer uh, connected with the uh, Hopkins. Exactly, but now he's trying to do it on his own. And uh, it's a difficult task. When you knock the system when you go go against the grain. Track the division. Task. Yes, he's, and he's very good. He's, he is a, an outstanding fighter. And he should be. And who also knows how to add that exclamation point, the big knockout punch. Something he could use here. Dangerous for him to drag this fight 12 rounds and let it grow to all. However, they want him to box. They want him to show some of his agility. Goes to the body and has the council holding on. Andrew Council known for his aggressiveness, but that has been essentially taken away by Hopkins in this fight. Council more tentative. There's a guy who's knocked out his last eight victims. Guy has 19 knockouts and 27 wins. Andrew Council. Oh, the power by Bernard Hopkins. Council's got a Tuck at his belt. And a smile on the face from Hopkins. Yes, he has seven knockouts in his last seven fights. However, those are not early knockouts where he goes out and he forces the KO. He did against Steve Frank, knocking him out in the first round. But the other fights, TKO7 against William Bo James. Uh, I'm sorry, John Jackson. William James was TKO11, as was Jerome, uh, Glenn, Co Glenn Coffey Johnson. Oh. Wow. So good. That was the 11th round. Bernard Hopkins may be trying to prove that uh, he does have that knockout ability. Clayton fight, something that Andrew Council said he does not. Council may find out up close and personally tonight. Bend to your left. Look, look at me over here. Bend over. Here's the mouthpiece. Somebody get them out here. You got to bend over, man. You know how to do that. He won't touch the eyes you bend way over here. Don't move. You got to bend over. Now do it when I say it, okay? Bend over, Andrew. Switch up left hand. He may run into something. Try. You got to do a little bit of everything now. Don't move. Don't move. Stay there. Stay there. Don't move. You hear me, Andrew? You got to push this thing, man. You got to push it a little more. You step to your dusty right hand and pull the three. Try, try, baby. But bend over here. I want you over here. Way over to the right. Way over to the right. All right? Bend over. Bend over, baby. Bend over. Get him off his back. Bend over to your right. You understand? Bend over here. Bend over. Yeah, bend over there. He can't get you. Al Albert and the champ, Sean O'Grady, ringside for the IBF Middleweight Championship. Entering round number nine, Bernard Hopkins, the champ, in control against the challenger, Andrew Council, who has brought this fight into his hometown. But right now, needs to awaken. Tough sixth round in which he was caught, he was staggered. Point taken away for unsportsmanlike conduct, hitting after the break for Council, although Bernard Hopkins then later got a point taken away for a low blow. Street fight between Phillies, Hopkins, and Council out of the D.C. area. Two terrific fight towns. And now Hopkins gets that low blow. No knockdown. Waved off by the referee. So the favor is returned. 
counsel before this fight called the Hopkins a dirty fighter. He has received a low blow. And now he giveth one away. Yeah, but look at how high that belt is. See that that belt? Well, that is not the title belt. That is a cup. Um, Bernard Hopkins really pulled up high. Maybe forced a little bit high, more up by the trunks, which are kind of losing their elastic. Now point has not been taken away. Another one from counsel for that low blow. I think the guy who will sleep the best tonight is probably not Hopkins or counsel, but the referee, Kenny Chevalier, who, uh, as you see him bouncing around, exerting as uh, much as the fighters. Now counsel tries to turn him up. Returned by Hopkins. Short chopping punches from Bernard. Inside, outside, good balance. Council has a reputation as a terrific banger. And again, he's complaining to the referee of a low blow. Meanwhile, Hopkins continues to pursue. Salt upstairs to the head. Hopkins giving the angles. <laughs> the referee again trying to wiggle his way in. It's been some night for Kenny Chevalier. Very determined in his yeah. own right. <laughs> Like the train that could. I think I can. Kenny Chevalier. He just burrows his way in between <laughs> the two. He's tough. Refereeing by the book. And uh, Kenny is giving away several pounds in this fight. Tough competitor in his own way. Ooh, Ooh. Hopkins open for the moment. Final 10 seconds of round number nine. And now Council becoming the game warrior, hanging in in this one. This cut. Uh, Give us a water. water. He wants some water. Give us a water. Oh, Andrew, on. please fight this boy, Andrew. Come but on. fighting with jab, you're not jabbing. You got a jabbing back. You're just not jabbing. You got a water, dude. Where the mouthpiece? Where the mouthpiece? Take it, brother. Suck it in. You got a jabbing, okay? Jabbing. Stand up. Stand up good. Getting ready to start round number 10 of the scheduled 12 round IBF middleweight championship fight. Bernard Hopkins up and ready has been in control but uh, right now Andrew Council surviving the cut and being wobbled in the sixth round trying to find a second wind and uh, trying to display the heart of a warrior Ooh. Hopkins right back on it as uh, Council took himself out off balance with that shot. Yeah, and a good right hand just to the short rib. Bernard Hopkins so focused with his punches. What can Council do to turn this around? Well, this is what he heard from his trainer, Adrian Davis, in between rounds. His suggestions. Andrew, you got to go back to your jab. You keep trying to man around, trying to catch him. Go back to your jab. Jab to the stomach. You ain't doing that. You're not jabbing to the stomach. Jabbing to the head. You got a jab, Andrew. Jab him. You understand? Jab him. He needs more than a jab. He needs some strength. First of all, he's not jabbing. Secondly, he's being taken to the ropes and pounded by Bernard Hopkins. Hopkins just too strong. Hopkins six foot as a middleweight. 
quite tall for this division, and he is able really to maneuver Council around where he wants him and then unload. Council has uh, never taken this kind of a beating. He has never been stopped. If you say, why isn't Bernard Hopkins just closing the show and taking him out? He's in against a tough cookie sure. in Andrew Council. Council very tough and fights with a lot of pride. He has his home people here, his friends, his family. But he has never really been able to go on the offense for any sustained period of time. Now just in the defensive shell, backed into the corner, again uh, getting hit a little low. Trying to look at the referee, but they're not getting support. Yeah, those uh, punches from Bernard are belt line. This is not the dominant Andrew Council that these fans have uh, grown to know and love and support. But he's in there against the middleweight champion, arguably the best. Although no argument to Bernard Hopkins among the middleweight champs. Inside 20 seconds to go in round number 10. Next week we have another world championship fight. IBF lightweight champion Shane Mosley in his first title defense. Next week from El Paso. Try you. That's one of your tricky moves you do. Try hard. Don't move. Don't move. Come on. pick it up. Box him. Stop. Don't, don't stop jabbing. Keep jabbing him. You understand? Keep jabbing him. Do you hear that? Oh, you got to jab. You got jab to the stomach, jab to the hip, and jab. Pull back and jab. And please, how come you're not doing this, Andrew? You're good with that. On the right side. Give me the air swallow. Give me the air swallow for the eye, man. Thank you. A lot of instructions in that Andrew Council corner. Right, Look at the calmness in this corner. Hey, I hear less. Stay with it, Slim. Stay with it. Calm corner is so important in a championship fight. Every man in that corner has a specific job that he has to tend to. And uh, that corner was like a well-executed oiled machine. Well, it was the execution of this corner. Bernard Hopkins, who was watching wrestling one day, and after hearing the introduction of uh, one of the wrestlers, wanted to be the executioner in boxing. Yes. Oh, when he executed that left uppercut, although not counted as a knockdown, a little off balance, Andrew Council. But he, he has modified the definition of his of his nickname, more politically correct now, in the context of executing his ability and executing his fight plan. Very sensitive to that. Here is a man who at 17 was incarcerated for five years for armed robbery. Came out incredibly focused. Became a consummate professional dedicated to his sport with a great work ethic and an understanding about the talent he possesses and the fruits it can bear. He makes many appearances at schools in the Philadelphia area talking about how he turned his life around and working with the kids. Really working to turn Andrew Council down. Now really turning it up. He's had two 11th round knockouts in the last three fights. And this is the 11th round. I said earlier, Bernard Hopkins didn't have a big powerful promoter. Well, he is signed to America Presents. I've just been see, informed. And you, and you can see how caring he is there, even helping the referee who almost uh, slipped on some of the perspiration that is uh, on the canvas. 
Well, he is hoping America presents, presents him some golden opportunities. Inside a minute to go in round number 11. We're talking about some of the appearances he makes, uh, appearances in, uh, in the schools recently. An emotional appearance for him as he returned to Daniel Boone School in Philadelphia, a school that Hopkins was expelled from at the age of 12. He has turned it around all the way to become a, a world champion who has dedicated himself to boxing and also to the fight game as a great love for this game, a historian. His champions in his mind are the, the Hagglers. He says Holyfield because of the inspiration of Evander Holyfield who never stopped believing in himself. And Sugar, Sugar Ray, Ray Robinson, oh, he wore the sash from one of Sugar Ray Robinson's into this fight with him tonight. Well, it's time to like a look at the Budweiser Power Punch, brought to you by Bud, fresh, pure, natural, proud to be your Bud. And it actually goes back to uh, the heavyweight fight, Lawrence Clay Bay in the first round against Louis Monaco, straight on the chin. And that is the Budweiser Power Punch of the night, Clay Bay going on to win an eight-round decision. champion closed the show at the Showplace Arena in Maryland. Andrew Council is three minutes whole career. He has waited for this night to fight for the middleweight championship and he's doing it in front of his hometown crowd. He is way behind on the scorecards and he has three minutes to pull out a fight in desperation. And Bernard Hopkins still though on top of things he is not playing it carefully here in the 12th, even though he has this defense in his back pocket. He is working on a string of five consecutive knockout defenses. And uh, that in jeopardy here, but Hopkins is turning it up here in the final round. On his toes, fresh. Has not been hurt in this fight. And has dished out plenty. Looks like it's going to be a struggle down to the final bell for at least the referee, Kenny Chevalier. Yeah, there's why. Every time Council gets inside, little hug from Chevalier. And another well, point is being yes. taken away from Andrew Council. The referee says, you got to listen to me when I say break, break. By the 12th round in a fight, a lot of times you just put the punches out there, just build up the points. Many times you find the KO. Don't worry about the KO, just go out there to accumulate points. Well, if, if, if Hopkins puts together a barrage, you may find the TKO. Referee could be very ready to just stop this fight. Council never able to actually be himself and explode and bang. Yeah, really a different level classification of fighter. You see, Bernard Hopkins, a world-class fighter. Andrew Council, really a good fighter, but not not a world-class, not the level of a Hopkins. Hopkins, I think, one of the one of the best fighters in boxing today. Pound for pound. The council are always having the banging chance in this one. The fight that uh, Hopkins remembered for, unfortunately for him, Roy Jones. Roy Jones just outsped him. Came out to take charge. He said that Roy is a better boxer than I. And I tried to beat him as, at his own game. And you're not going to beat Roy Jones boxing him. 
if I had another chance, I'd fight him like a Philly fighter. And that is it. Bernard Hopkins comes into the hometown of Andrew Council and looks to have pitched a near shutout, if not a complete one. Although Council becomes the first fighter in a championship fight to go the distance. Hopkins won the title with a knockout over Segundo Mercado and then has knocked out uh, each of his uh, five opponents in title defenses. And Bernard Hopkins, 12 rounds against Andrew Council for the IBF middleweight crown. Now Council all smiles. Yeah, they settled their differences. Yeah, very quickly. <laughs> the decision upcoming.